Zito, please have your super poll on the ready. Yep, today is who's going to win Sunday. Uh, right now, last place, Buccaneers 46% last and place. Chiefs 54% with over 70,000 votes. Ooh, I do like that you stuck with last place still. Yeah. Eh, one, one, two. Hey, could say silver. Could have. Yeah. Could say second place. Oh, yeah. Could say the loser this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> says 70,000 votes, which is... So gigantic. I mean, yeah, are we getting honest. spoiled with it? Because we had 150,000, 170,000, 200 and some thousand. We like watching that thing grow. But I feel like at some point we're going to think this is normal. This is not normal mm. to have 70,000 people no. voting on polls on the internet or any polls really yeah. at this yeah. particular yeah. point. So we appreciate everybody that spent their time. But everybody's saying Chiefs win 54%, 46% saying Buccaneers. The, the gambling is not going that way. All right. The gambling is the complete opposite of that. FanDuel just released who is betting where in all of their states that is up there. It's a pretty interesting graphic because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they got Michigan, they got Indiana, they got Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee, mm. and Iowa. Nope. Colorado. Colorado. Huh. It's down there, huh? Really? <laughs> is that really where uh, Colorado is? I would have thought it would have been switched with the one right above it there. Because if you go, what, longitude, latitude thing, right? What, that latitude, right? Because yeah. it can go across. It seems, are we Indiana and Colorado are the same latitude? Is that real? No yeah. way. Wow. I did this the other day, too. It's a perfect box, it's too. Incredible. I want to let you know, I thought they had the map wrong. Like, I was... <laughs> yeah. I was about to, and then because I want a geography bowl. Let's hey, yeah, yeah. Right. let's not get this crazy. No, all that was right? a long time ago, my friend. It was obviously. <laughs> it does feel like it's longer and longer by the minute here, but especially by every time Ty forces something in. He, no, 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 no. Yeah, he did oh, play yeah. in my lungs. Basically, it's unbelievable. I would not have known that. And for those that are just listening, we are looking at a map on the screen that has all the states that have the sports book legal for Fanduel, and there's only. Three states that are betting on the Chiefs to win the money line bets, and then everybody else is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh. And I'm very intrigued by that. Also, with where Colorado is, go ahead and look at your maps if you get a chance. You can follow <laughs> along with our. And if you knew that, I bet you did. I mean, it is. That close Damn. <laughs> New Mexico. Jeez. Who would have thought? And then Utah's pretty. I mean, I thought Utah would be higher because. Every time I see Colorado, Utah, what? It's just snow. Well, you think of mountains. Oh, mountains. Yeah. Salt Lake City. Northern New Mexico, also very mountainous. We are more north than Colorado right now, where we are. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, uh, it's we're one degree more. Mm -hmm. Still. Yeah. I mean, we're damn close. Damn close. Probably, shout out to means, us. Damn, damn. <laughs> much I bought that thing, by the way. I think it's <laughs> uh -huh. where our exact location was. But I would have thought everybody would have thought the Chiefs were going to win this game. It's wild to me. This is, is this Tom Brady? Is yes. this the fact yeah. that everybody's like, yeah, we've watched for the last 20 years. We understand what's going on. We hear the stories of this guy's got the house to himself for the last two weeks. He's got weapons now. He's been able to win this on a very regular occasion in the past without really this stacked of a lineup. Now, granted, he had Randy and the boys or whatever, but this offensive lineup is unbelievable for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. Is that why everybody's doing that? Because I hate, I hate to break it to people on the other side. They got guns, too. Uh -huh. they, 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 they got a lot of them as well. That's very interesting to me, though, that th this is how people are betting their money. They're like, listen, it's my hard-earned money. I want to have a horse in this race. My team didn't make the Super Bowl. I'm going to fucking bet on Tom Brady. That's what I'm going to do. I, I'm intrigued by it. I think it's Tom, and I think it's the weapons that Tom has. And then on the other side, Tampa Bay's D-line is getting a lot of credit. We yeah. talked about how the sports books have the most liability if JPP or Shaq Barrett, Barrett were to win the MVP. So I think they do have. There's some worry out there about out there about the tackles for the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, yeah because old buddy, they on TV earlier uh, this week, they had the guy that's supposed to block Jason Pierre-Paul. Mm -hmm. They had him talking, doing an interview. He had a great beard, I believe, and uh, I'd never heard of the guy. Okay, I'm assuming he's a very good football player. He's in the NFL. He's playing for the Chiefs, even though he's you know after a couple people have gotten hurt or whatever, he's there. And then they they showed him talking, and then they immediately went to like. Jason Pierre, Paul talking, and then highlights of him. And you look and you go, all right, the eye test says oh. that uh, Jason Pierre, Paul is potentially going to have maybe 40 to 50 sacks this weekend. But we got to remember, 
play calls, getting the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands quick, some chips out of the backfield maybe from the boys. We'll, we'll shift some protection over to help out old buddy. But when you do that, you got Vita Vea and Ndamukong and Sue, who has never won a Super Bowl before in the middle. He's been playing for a long time. He is very rich. What is he playing for? Let's assume it's for a Super Bowl ring. Went to the Rams. Now he's at Tampa. I'm assuming he's not taking as much money as he could elsewhere. He wants to win a Super Bowl. That guy, if he plays his best game, which he could very easily do so, it is the fucking Super Bowl and this is forever, he could be a problem up the gut. How much can you swing protection? We got Shaq Barrett potentially coming. I mean, they, they might have that guy on an island, but you got to assume Andy Reid has that potentially prepared for. Yeah, and like you got to assume the plays that they're going to be drawing up is going to just solely benefit them to get the ball out quick so that D-line can't eat so much. Like if they're just throwing screens to McCole Hardman and Tyreek Hill, I mean, I still like those odds of them just going for 70 and so a score. Screens crush it whenever they bring pressure. Yeah. The D-line for Tampa is so good, you don't have to bring pressure. So then you're able to have everybody still back in coverage. That is the the recipe people have said to beat the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. The recipe is for your D-line to be able to get pressure without having to bring help. Because if you have to bring help, then bang, they have too many weapons, somebody isn't doubled, you're off and running, Patrick Mahomes is smarter than you. They have a D-line that is deep enough that they can cause hell all by themselves, and then he can drop the other seven guys back in there, and hopefully you double, I mean, you double Tyreek, then you double Travis. Half okay, so now you got three people left. <laughs> exactly. All right, and now you got to figure out Sammy, McColl. Sammy's playing, by the way. Uh-huh. He's healthy. Yeah. Look for him oh. to sc- hit the over on him, whatever that is. I assume he'll make a massive play in this whole thing. It's just... I don't know. The people betting on the Bucks is wild to me, and it must be because the D-line and Tom Brady. That has to be yeah, it. They got the Pringle, too. I mean, don't let the Pringle get loose. That guy's got burners as well. Robinson's got a fresh haircut. I forgot. Oh. Hey, and Kilgore's playing, too, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it really is like those. You know, you walk past the mall. Used to, by the way. Mall, malls used to be a thing, by the way. Like, uh, <laughs> people would go to an area, yeah, and okay. it would be a lot of one building. People would walk, and then there would be a lot of stores. Really? Yeah. Food court. Yeah. You don't say. Sake of Japan. You mean uh, Amazon? I forgot what I was going to say. I had a good one, though. The mall was a good Haircut. reference. Who? Haircut. Haircut. Mall. Oh, yeah. And you walk past, like, the makeup things, and they have the picture of, like, the half makeup and the half <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder if Kilgore's fade is, like, COVID fade here and then, like, the, oh, I've been in quarantine hair over here. That'd be it probably is. Because he had to go is. in quarantine. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see that cut. Because his hair cutter, a la Shefty.